What's up guys? So this video is all about the ultimate guide on Bafang BBS02 e-bike kit. So if you're wondering if this kit is for you, then you've watched the right video. If you don't know me, I'm Kurt Barcelona and this channel is about engineering stuff. And here we're talking about one of my favorite topics, electric bicycle kits, because I already had two prior e-bikes before buying this kit and it's not cutting it with my previous bicycles. So I found this kit in an app in the Philippines and it cost me around 35,000 pesos, give or take. So the kit comes with the BBS02B motor and it has the 13,000 milliampere R 42 volt battery pack and accessories. So the challenge that I faced when installing this one was simple compared to other kits out there because you only have to check if the bike frame is compatible with the BBS02B kit. Well, another challenge would be analysis paralysis on this kind of motor because there are a lot of motors out there in the market right now, like 750 watt versions, 500 watt versions, 250 watt versions. You're gonna tell yourself, hey, what do I buy? But I believe the 500 watts is more than enough. Another myth is that it's not limited to 500 watts it's just the tolerable power that it won't break kind of rating but it can go beyond 500 watts the kit has been around since 2015 as 8 fun bafang and 8 fun are almost the same partner companies they just rebranded the whole kit okay the good part on buying this kit is relatively affordable compared to other kits out there and other e-bikes because for its specifications it just blows away all of those other their expensive kits. For this price, it's a steal. It's highly customizable. Not just that it can be installed on most bikes, but you can also tune it to your advantage. I bought this USB to TTL converter, which costs around 500 or 600 pesos. You plug this inside the LCD connector, go into the motor and install the Luna Bafang tool on your PC. Although it's not supported by Bafang, you can tune like the maximum amount of power it can deliver. You can also tune when it kicks in at certain speeds. I'll place a link down below where I read on how to tune these bikes accurately and properly. Well, disadvantage. I think this is fairly straightforward. Number one, it's a bit heavier compared to your stock bike. It's gonna add at least six kilograms to your current setup. Number two, no one really talks about this disadvantage, but I figured out that it's harder to pedal with the motor despite having a one-way clutch that reduces the amount of effort that you need to pedal, meaning you don't have to pedal, counteract the eddy currents that's being produced inside the magnetic field and such. And I was curious about it, so I opened the motor and checked that the nylon gear with the one-way clutch is doing this. It has more friction. It's difficult to turn the crank compared to before. It's significant enough that you have to drop a gear. So another disadvantage of this is the battery that it comes yeah. with the kit. This is only specific to this kit and it might be different for yours. The batteries that I got were not the best, but they're not the bad ones. They're just okay. And I made a research on that and what kind of battery specifications they have. And that link is down below. The battery pack that comes with it is on plastic and it's not insulated. So I still had to place some RTV silicone around. And the BMS controller that controls the charging and discharging of the battery is not really good. It just cuts off below 32 volts and it won't let me charge beyond 38 volts. What I did was replace the BMS controller with a DALI BMS controller plus active balancer. So the key word is the active balancer part because it transfers the charge from the fully charged batteries to the uncharged batteries and thereby creating more range. But please take note, it's only on this kit and you might have better batteries on your own so maybe this is not a disadvantage at all another disadvantage with this kit is that the motor itself is Bruh. heating up especially when you're pushing it to the limit but in my use case i tuned it to a point where i could just use it with the heat it's like a warm kind of heat like 35 to 40 degrees but it doesn't go hotter beyond that with my current tuning settings but for aggressive riders it might be a problem for you so guys, another thing that I found about the Bafang BBS02 kit is that it has a problem with hydraulic brakes. Or if you're using hydraulic brakes on your bike, these braking sensors that they have are just magnets and hall sensors that you put some 3M 
double-sided sticky tape and the sensors themselves. However, in my experience, it can just be removed due to rough riding conditions. However, in my case, I just use mechanical brakes and I just had to replace the brake levers with Bafang brake levers for about 500 pesos. However, I do get some issues with it over time as you are gonna put some errors in the sensor. Sometimes if I press the brake pedal, it doesn't register that's being pressed. So before I forget, I must point this out that if you're installing the Bafang BBS02 motor, sometimes the chain ring won't be perfectly aligned with the derailleur and you have to add spacers on the chain ring side. You can just buy these spacers online. In addition, another disadvantage would be if you're used to two or three chain rings on the crank, you might have to ditch those other chain rings and you can only use one. And I believe, to my knowledge, it doesn't have any adapters for multiple number of chain rings. But if I'm wrong, just comment down below where I could see a product that gives the flexibility of multiple chain rings. And another disadvantage of this chain ring is that when you use an adapter, sometimes the bolts that hold the chain ring and the adapter will break free from each other when you ride for a long time. So I suggest you place some Loctite there so that it won't vibrate and loosen up because it had an instance where I rode the bike too hard and the bolt just came free from the chain ring and the chain ring just misaligned and the chain just went off the rails and destroyed my plastic cover for the motor. And this exposed the motor to a lot of dust and debris, which ultimately got inside of the gears. And then that gears with the debris just ruined all or most of my bearings, which I had to replace. I'm just gonna say that I use this kit for two kinds of bicycles. One is the city bike. However, in my experience, it was just really rough and it felt really stiff. So I had to upgrade to a mountain bike. So here's a montage, hope you enjoy. And I'm just gonna give commentaries along the way so that you'll know my experience experience about it and after the montage I'm gonna show you how I disassemble the motor. I think this is the best option that you have. It's mostly compatible to most bike frames and it can be easily tuned with specific hardware and the software that's needed. And there are a lot of videos out there detailing and how to do it step by step. So with the price, with the performance, with the capabilities, I'd recommend this easily for those DIYers who wanna get hands dirty. But if you're just an ordinary layman who just wanna ride and go, I believe there are other products for you out there. For example, ready-made, safe to buy bikes that have good service centers and good service or customer support. But for those DIYers out there, this is it. I mean, you can get any better than the price and the performance of this kit so hopefully you enjoy this video please like and share this to your friends subscribe and see you next time bye bye